The Modius brushless motor controller now implements velocity and acceleration limited trajectories. This lets the controller better control loads at high speeds or with large amounts of inertia, removing unnecessary complexity from the application software. Let's see how to use it. First, release 2022-0407 or newer is required. You can follow the instructions in the reference manual to update your firmware if necessary. With that firmware, there are two new options available, servo.default velocity limit and servo.default excel limit. When both are NAN, then the old instantaneous control behavior is used. However, they can be set to finite values to enable limits for both. The velocity is specified in output revolutions per second, and the acceleration is specified in revolutions per second squared. With both of those set, position mode commands still specify a target position and velocity, only now instead of reaching those instantaneously, the configured limits are obeyed in order to reach them. Now let us plot the position on the left axis, the velocity on the right axis, and send a position command. Most users will specify the target velocity of zero, assuming you want the motor to end in a resting state. If the acceleration is left unlimited, i.e. it is set to nan, then the velocity will change instantaneously. If the velocity is left unlimited, then the velocity will grow without bound, subject to the motor maximum speed. The target state may still have a non-zero velocity, in which case the controller will continue at that velocity indefinitely. and the limits can be overridden on a command-by-command -command basis with either the register or diagnostic protocols. These trajectories were always possible, but previously required that the application send a piecewise linear trajectory to the controller in real time. This new Modius capability lets the application be both simpler and results in guaranteed smooth motions at any CAN update rate. If acceleration must be continuous, as in you need a jerk limited trajectory, then the application must still command those in a piecewise linear manner as before. If non-zero target velocities are used, it is possible for the controller to loop around if it is not possible to decelerate or accelerate in time. Even with the zero target velocity, the motion may overshoot and come back to the target if deceleration in time is not possible. Thanks for watching.